oh, made it. So on the walk now to Thomas and Foss. Hopefully you can hear me all right. The mic's tucked in the jacket just to cancel out some of this wind. Oh, steps. Fortunately going down at the moment, but sadly, does mean, sorry, this is probably a bit shaky because I'm going down these steps. Yeah, sadly it does mean, coming back up, I'm on the way back. Never mind. Damn steps. Okay, so, while I'm making the walk down here, now it is very narrow, I'll tell you what, one thing, considering how leafless the Yorkshire Dales was last week when I was there in Keld, and kind of thought autumn was done with, subsequently, my trips to Clumber Park and here, are revealing a little bit more of a different story. So that's the first thing. Secondly, I actually want to talk to you about something today. And that rule is, don't waste your money on new gear. Now, by that, I don't mean new gear versus second hand gear. That's a different story for a different day. But, do you really need new gear? Now I'm going to come back to that in a bit. Because, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a right little so-and-so when it comes to wanting new gear. But realistically, the key here is don't waste your money on new gear. So, as I say, I'll come back to that topic in a bit. But right now, I'm gonna keep walking down this pathway that's very muddy and quite damp. And we're gonna make it to Tonneson Foss, potentially via some other images. Here we go, first image of this trip. And it's actually one I've taken twice prior. Um, ironically, this was actually one of the first images I took just as I started to get into landscape photography. Now, bit of a backstory, started doing landscape photography on my honeymoon when me and Miss Sess were in Sardinia in Italy. Um, caught a bit of a bug for it, but it was about a year later when we actually came up for our first anniversary holiday to the Yorkshire Moors. Now, as I've said before, I love waterfalls, so I found this place, easy walk, blah, blah, blah. Now I bought myself 
some really cheap, they were like 15 quid for a whole collection of these cheap, basically plastic filters. Walking along the path, some some fuss, and I saw these. So you got all these fools. There's fools back here as well. Grabbed a shot. It's now printed on acrylic on our living room wall. So, pretty much one of the first landscape pictures I've taken, other than a couple inside in here and potentially a couple on that holiday can't remember but this was the serious first serious one anyway I'm boring you now the second time I came down was actually my very first vlog that I did of the Yorkshire Moors waterfalls I did falling fast Malin spout and here unfortunately I never made it down to Thompson fast it was the first lockdown people had not long been released and it was absolutely jam-packed with freshwater swimmers it was a really warm day in May I think it was and yeah I ended up just taking this picture before calling it a day on this particular falls that vlog was absolutely terrible please don't watch it but it is the very first one on this channel but yeah when um, I took this shot that time it was bright sunshine beaming through specular highlights everywhere dynamic range was just chaotic but i'm back and i'm back in autumn and i'm probably not utilizing the colors as much as i should reason being is we've got a very bright sky here the sun is actually just over there behind some clouds but it's shining through and it's blowing out this I want a long exposure for this for these pools for the running water now problem one I also wanted to use the ultra wide angle lens can't put filters on it meaning I'm having to push the ISO down to 100 which is fine I've ramped the aperture up to f11 Do you know what I might go f16 and try that just to bring the shutter speed up a little bit and try and bring down the, the exposure there. Yeah, I might try that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so what I'm focusing on, the reason I'm using the ultra wide is because I'm focusing on this log here. It makes a really nice piece of foreground, but it's also got this quite strong force down here. Now, the previous couple of occasions when I've taken the picture, I believe I was stood over here somewhere. But the water levels are actually fairly high and it looks like it's quite difficult to get across i could potentially get further down there's a lot of overgrowth and it's brambles there's one thing i ate more than steps it's brambles you try and move around places and you get tangled up in it, it just becomes a whole thing so I have taken this shot and I am quite pleased with how it's looking at the moment um, because we're actually down on the on the back I believe this is Ella back could be wrong um, we're actually sheltered from the wind a little bit the trees are picking it up up here a, a bit but it's actually quite sheltered and I know the wind was and the gusts were supposed to be dropping um, oh shit nearly fell over um, the wind was supposed to be dropping as the day went on. Anyway, I'm gassing now. So, I'm going to try again with this shot, probably ramped up to F16. We'll move down to Thomson Foss and I'll come back to the topic of today's vlog.
there she is. Thomason Foss. So, I've not set the camera or anything up yet. I'm literally just going to chill for five minutes. Um, remember the topic of the vlog from Keld about mental health. I'm literally on my own here. So quiet, so peaceful, it's warm. Um, I'm just going to sit and replenish my energy and just make the most of this because this is just, I love this place, absolutely beautiful. Um, Thompson Foss was probably the second picture that made me actually go, do you know what? Quite enjoy this landscape photography lark. Um, this was my laptop desktop picture up until probably about six months ago. I took it in September 2019. I love that picture. Um, it's probably my most sold picture as well, um, prints wise. Now I ordered a, a copy of the print once from the labs that I use. Customer contacted me, said it never arrived. So, ordered the print, but this time I got it directly delivered to them. A few days later, they've got the print now, everything's fine, knocking me door. Royal Mail delivered the print to me. God knows where it had been though, because the customer actually got the print quicker when I ordered it the second time than I got it ordering it the first time. Bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Um, but what I will say is the print was a 24 by 16 and it looked absolutely ridiculous. Now that was taken on the 7D Mark II. Um, couldn't tell you what lens, might have been the 24 or 105 or the 17 to 40 F4 L series that I no longer own. And that brings me on to the topic of today's vlog. Don't waste your money on new gear. Now, what I mean by that is, sorry, I'm just going to adjust the camera. There we go. So, what do I mean by that? What's wrong with your existing gear? Why do you need new gear? So for me, when I started up doing landscape photography, I wanted a full frame camera. It made sense. It's probably the best thing for it. So I got the 5DS um, rather than the 7D Mark II, which I still own. But do I need another camera now? Or do I just want another camera? And this is where the, the whole point of this vlog comes from is, do we need that new bit of gear that we really want? So, as I say, I sold up all my lenses. I bought all the Sigma Art stuff. And I'm happy. However, I'm just going to reel through the list of what camera bodies I've bought since I started doing photography. My first camera was a Canon 350D. I've then since owned a 30D, a 40D, a 50D, a 7D, which I still have, a 7D Mark II, which I still have, a 5DS, which obviously I still have, and throw into the mix as well I had a 1D Mark II N that was many moons ago shut went on that when I was on holiday once um, not helpful so I just sold it um, with a broken shutter on eBay got a few hundred quid for it still so um, the lenses that I have bought and since sold the Canon 17 to 85, that was a kit lens, I believe, with either the 40D or the 50D. Um, I've had 
two 18 to 55 millimeter kit lenses, one that came with the uh, 350D and I also bought one as a backup um, in case anything went wrong with my others. I've had the 17 to 40 L, I've had two 24 to 105 F4 Ls, I've had two 70 to 200 F4 Ls, I've had a 100 to 400 L, I think that's it, I think that's it. Oh, I might have had a 55 to 200 as well, which I think came with the 350D as well. So, yeah. I've gone through quite a bit of kit. Now that's, I'm probably missing some stuff out of that and that's not including the filters as well that I've bought and sold since I started doing landscape photography. Um, yeah, the amount of gear that I've owned is ridiculous. Um, the fact that I've owned a couple of the lenses twice and now I still have the 70 to 200 F4 because I use that for a particular type of my work. But, yeah, the fact that I've owned two 24 to 105s and sold both of them. Yeah, ridiculous. So, don't waste your money on gear. Make sure you are buying the correct bits of gear at that point. Don't buy something cheap and buy it twice. I've done that with filters. I've done that with lenses. Um, and you know, invest in the right bits of gear. If you cannot afford that right bit of gear, don't buy a stopgap. I did that actually with the 12 to 24. I bought one of the older versions because I can't remember how much I picked it up for. Um, and then literally before I'd even had it out and used it, I bought the 24, uh, 12 to 24 F4. Fortunately, when I sold the older version, I actually got my money back for it, so it wasn't a waste, it was just more hassle than anything. Um, so yeah, buy cheap, buy twice. Um, as I say, make sure you are buying the right bit of gear, and if you can't afford it at the time, continue to save. Don't waste your money in that respect. Um, some of the best investments you can make for landscape photography as well is actually just getting out and using your camera. Um, but yeah, seriously, save your money. Make sure you are buying the right bits of gear. Also, do a pros and cons. Why do you need it? All right, do you need it? Do you want it? That's a big difference as well. Um, but yeah, don't waste your money on new gear. So that's my two pence worth on that one. Um, and I'm a voice of experience as well. So as I say, I'm gonna sit and chill for five minutes. We've got a little while till sunset and it's not far back to the car, although I have got to tackle all that uh, steps and steep climbs. And it's quite muddy as well, quite boggy and the pathway's covered in leaves, so it is quite difficult to see. But yeah, I'm gonna sit and chill for a bit before whipping out the camera and getting some pictures of this bad boy. Right, so, I've been running around trying to grab some shots, and do you know what? I don't know if I'm happy with them. The problem is I've got a lot of mess down here with leaves and murky water, sorry, jolting around there. Um, this root from the base of there, and, oh, We'll go with that way. There it is. That one as well. That's in the way. 
Yeah, I'm actually having a real difficult time getting decent shot off where I'm really happy with the composition. Now, I might get them back into Lightroom and actually really like them, to be fair. I've tried to utilize some of these fallen trees, I've tried to utilize them as um, leading lines. I've used 50mm lens, I've used the 12 to 24. I've been running around across these boulders, trying not to slip and re-break my arm. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'm hoping that they do look good once I get back on the camera, so, uh, on the computer, sorry. So, yeah, I'm going to sign out now. Now, obviously, yeah, if you have liked this video, you like the images, and if you have actually liked the topic, saying, don't waste your money on new gear, give us the old thumbs up, drop the like, and obviously drop the subscribe from down the bottom, wherever it is, because, yeah, we've, uh, ooh, breeze. Um, see if I can get that in a picture the falling leaves although actually because of the long exposure you probably won't even see them get picked up anyway no well um, yeah we've obviously got uh, day two from uh, Mike's misadventures in the moors or Mike's mischief in the moors or whatever you want to call it my little tour up here and yeah this is Mike out. Take care and be safe, everyone. Peace. Peace.